So we're, here we have another of one of the many, many, many Toy Biz Spider-Man sort of sublines, I guess you would call it. Um, this is the Spider-Man Spider Force line with trans. Uh, excuse me, Tarantula. The, the the copy down here is kind of weird. This is with transforming insect armor. You turn Tarantula into a terrifying Tarantuloid. Now I've had my eye on a wasp figure for a while, but it was like fifteen dollars, and I really didn't want to um, spend that much. I try to I try to keep these affordable for myself. Um, the swarm one right there, if you can see that. That's the highlight of it. That, I mean, he's kind of a bee guy to get already, and he just turns into more of a bee guy. So he's pretty, pretty darn cool. But this tarantula, I couldn't pass up for ten bucks because he's so cool, and it's almost like you get two figures in one because you get the figure itself, you get this, uh, the insect armor that can kind of be its own thing, and also it can be the armor for obviously the figure. So we're gonna free this guy from his plastic prison. These came out in 1997, yep. I feel like a lot of the kind of oddball Toy Biz stuff, like Spider-Man, X-Men, what have you, came out in 1997. I'm not really sure why. Some Incredible Hawk thing, stuff like, stuff like this woman with the chainsaw and this weird bat thing that I just have to have sitting right next to me. Uh, so here's Mr. Tarantula. So he's a bad guy. He fights Spider-Man. His real name's Luis, Luis Alvarez. Um, he's got these pretty slick kind of knife boots. He's got these blades on there. Um, so the articulation on this is really weird. There's no elbow articulation. And I guess it's designed that way because you have to put the armor on him in, in, a, in a certain fashion. So we're going to bust this guy out. It's taped in there pretty good. Certainly want to break anything, which I've possibly seen happen when I've opened some, some vintage toys. It's not unprecedented, but generally the, the, the toy bit stuff's pretty pretty solid, pretty well made. There's a few things that might break but so you have this so this can kind of just exist on its own i guess you know like a big kind of scary bug i guess it's supposed to be a tarantula um so you can also obviously take it apart as part of the insect armor which is kind of the the whole idea behind it so let's do that Mr. Alvarez, so we're going to take this bug apart, it's a little, a little tricky here, okay, so these are like the thorax, I don't really know all the parts, I don't, I don't remember much from like 10th grade science class, okay, so all this stuff snaps on, so they're like, there are no holes in him. As you can see. So this is a leg pad. I guess kind of a shin guard sort of thing. And the way it's showing on the packaging. It's not super clear. Let me see here. Let's look at this guy. Okay, so the red goes on the top. I think there's like this that doesn't make a whole lot of sense though okay we're gonna skip the knee pads so these things are sort of like you know, maybe gloves I guess claws and yeah they look pretty similar so I don't think there's a I don't think there's a left and a right per se They definitely don't snap on too great. Okay, so there's one. Yep, see, it doesn't really snap on too great. I think it, it all of this works better in theory 
and in practice. Because I really can't get his fist in there. I mean, it kind of goes, but... All right, so there's that. And then these portions, it's kind of the chest armor, I suppose. So there's the back. I guess it's at the back. No, that's the front. It doesn't help that the paint applications on the packaging is different. So we'll say this this is a a trifle just a trifle disappointing. It's a a little tricky to get in. There we go. And then this, I guess this is the front. Is that the front? Yeah, that's the front. I mean either either one could really be the front, but <clears throat> this is definitely a a challenge to get all this. armor on here. Lots of finagling. Alright, so there's that. You know, can't really move the arm because the armor is going to snap apart. And then, yeah, these little booty things are still... can't quite figure those out. I really think they go like this. Like a shin guard sort of thing. So, shin guards, they're not working out too great. We're having some, some trouble. I like to think I'm a semi-intelligent person that I can figure this out. But I guess we'll just kind of stick them on there. Okay. So there he is in all his kind of bug armor, insect armor glory. Um, a little bizarre, kind of wonky, doesn't really stick on him very well. And it's kind of, kind of tricky to do. So a little disappointing. I mean, it definitely looks cool. Um, I definitely would still like to get that swarm figure, but I, I'm not going to have high hopes because this is just... Um, I don't know. It's, it's, a little, it's a little tricky and... Changing, transforming this guy into this bug armor, insect armor fella is um, a little strange, especially when you, again, you move the arms and the armor kind of pops apart. So um, there he is, Mr. Tarantula, Luis, Luis Alvarez. He's a kickboxer. Um, he has his stinger blades into his boots that are dipped into poison, power enough to knock out any foe. And um, he's got his arm stuck in a big tarantula blade insect armor so a little bit cooler in theory in the package on, on the card art you know he's got this wonky kind of like he's going to put spider-man in the headlock kind of thing and he's going to go ice skating but um you know not a bad figure in and of itself the articulation is kind of weird but yeah this whole mess yeah i don't know maybe i ought to spend some more more time on it but anyway thanks for watching um, hopefully you're opening your toys, you're playing with them, you're displaying them, and hopefully they fit together a little bit better than Mr. Tarantula here from the Spider-Man Spider-Force line.